Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to the part 2 of creating a cinematic title in After Effects. So if you haven't seen the part 1, you can click over here or you can click the link in the description below. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and this is where we left in part 1. So we have our text over here and now in this part we are going to add some details to this like glowing outlines and cracks so let's begin so first i'm going to add some glowing outlines to this text so in order to do that what you have to do is just simply select the logo comp and just drag it into this so after that we are going to search for an effect called find edges so just search for it and you can just simply drag it onto this logo layer and just make sure that you select the inverted option so that it will look something like this and now we don't want to see the black part so in order to fix that what we can do is we can change the blending mode so again if you are not able to see the blending mode then you can click over here and we are going to change it from normal to add so now you can see that we have the outlines so right now it's white in color so if you want to change the color of the outline you can apply an effect called tint just search for it and just simply drag it on to this and now you can change the white color so I can change it to whatever I want so let's go with a little bit of yellow color something like this so now we have our outline now in order to make this more attractive what we are going to do is we are going to add some glow to this so just search for glow and you can just simply drag it onto this now we are going to tweak some of the parameters but before I do that if you want to learn how to properly apply glow effect onto your layers then you can check out this tutorial of mine I will put a link in the description below in this I have shown how you can use different techniques to improve your glow quality so right away we have the glow effect so let's increase the glow radius and I'm going to decrease the threshold let's keep the glow radius nice and tight so we are going to set this to something like 30 now you can select the glow layer then press ctrl D to duplicate it or you can just simply again apply the glow effect and on this one I'm going to just increase the glow radius little bit and we can probably lower down the threshold little bit now again select the glow effect then again press ctrl D or you can again apply the glow effect by simply dragging it now let's increase the glow radius and I'm going to also change the glow intensity to something like 0.5 so right away you can see that we have this really nice glowing edges so now we don't want this to be highlighted on the full text we want this to appear only in certain parts so in order to do that we are going to create a shape layer so just simply select the pen tool and just make sure none of the layer is selected then you can draw any random shape so just click and just start drawing any random shape just like this and make sure it's fill is enabled so in order to check that you can just simply click over this and just make sure that it is a solid color you can pick whatever color you want it does not matter now we don't want this to have sharp edges so in order to smooth these edges we are going to apply another effect called Gaussian blur so just simply search for it and just apply it onto the shape layer now increase the blur amount quite a bit something like this and just make sure that this layer is above your logo layer and after that we are going to change the track mat to alpha mat so now you can see that our glowing part is visible only where we have this shape layer so right away if you want you can select the pen tool and you can change the shape just like this to add more parts that have glow just like this now if you want to animate this what you can do is just simply move this to somewhere around here then you can select this and press p for position add a keyframe and let's say around here we want this to come this side just like this so here you can see that our shape layer is animating and it is revealing the glowing outlines wherever it goes so this is how you can animate the position but before that let's add some of the other shapes as well so if you want to add more of these glowing lines so you can do one more thing so you can select the top two layers which is this logo and the shape layer then press ctrl D to duplicate them and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shape layer and you can move it to some other part something like this so now you can see we have two points where we have these glowing outlines so again you can animate this separately and this shape layer as a separate part 
Now, if you want to change, have multiple colors over here, you can do that. All you have to do is just simply select the logo and over here you can change the color to whatever you want. So now you can see that we have multiple colors in our same logo. So this is something you can explore on your own. In the same way, you can duplicate the layers one more time and you can have multiple points from where these glowing outlines will appear. But for this example, I'm going to stick with the yellow color. Now let's quickly animate them. So I'm going to select them, press P for position. And in the beginning, I want this to be somewhere around here. And this one, I want this to be something like this. And let me just enable the position over here as well. Now around two seconds, I want this to move from this side. And this one, we can just probably select it and just move it to something like this. If you want, you can increase the distance just like this. So yeah, I think this is going too fast. So you can probably increase it more. So you can increase it more just like this. So this is completely up to you. You can play around with this. Let me just quickly change its position to something like this. Yeah, so I think this is looking good. So now you can see we have our glowing outlines moving. So we are done with this part and our next step is to add some glowing cracks over here. So in order to do that, we are going to use this crack PNG that you will find inside the download. So you can just simply select it and drag it over here. And right away you can see that we have this crack and I'm going to first apply an effect which is called fill. So just search for fill and just drag it onto this. And now it's totally up to you. You can choose whatever color you want since we are going with the yellow theme. So I'm going to pick this really nice yellow color just like this. Now we want this crack to be below the text. So in order to do that, you can select the crack and just move it below all the text layers. And you can probably select it and press R to rotate it. You can just scale it down and just place it wherever you want. It's completely up to you. So I think, yeah, this is looking good. Now we want this to be glowing as well. So what we can do is we can go to our logo com, which is this one. We can probably copy these glow effects. So let me just quickly shut them down and then you can select them while holding down the shift key. Then press control C to copy them. And just simply go to the crack, then press control V. Or if you want, you can again drop the glow effect and then tweak around with these properties. Now I'm going to just simply play around with these properties and I'm going to probably lower down the intensity and just play around with the glow radius and threshold. Yeah, so I think this is looking fine. Again, if you want to scale this up, then you can just simply press S and just scale it up something like this and just place it wherever you want. So now we have our crack, but it is not looking that good because we want this to be engraved inside our ground. So we want to have some kind of texture on top of it. So in order to do that, what we are going to do is we are going to create a new solid. So go to layer, new, let's make sure you are inside the comp. Let's go to layer, new, and then create a solid. It can be of any color. And let's call this ground texture. And now we are going to apply an effect on this. So we are going to go inside the bevel comp. And over here we have the fractal noise. So just simply copy this and go back to the main comp and I'm going to paste this onto this layer. So now just simply select the ground texture and we are going to place it on top of the cracks. And after that you can just simply change the track mat option to luma mat. So now you can see that we have some sort of imperfections over here. Again, you have to play around with these properties in order to make it look better. So just play around with the brightness. If you want to have more of these ground visible, you can also play around with the scale of these. Yeah, so I think this is looking good. And let me just quickly decrease the glow radius. Yeah, so I think this is looking good. And in the same way, you can add multiple cracks over here as well. So let me show you how you can animate this. So all you have to do is just simply select your crack and then select the pen tool. Now you can draw a mask. So just simply click over here 
and just simply draw a mask just make sure that this layer is selected otherwise it will create a shape layer now let's animate this so you can select the layer press m to reveal the mask property just add a keyframe so that the mask is completely full and let's go to somewhere around this and just again select the layer you can select the end points and just simply move them something like this so now you can see that our path is animating and now we have this really harsh edge so in order to fix that we can add some feathering so you can select the layer press f to open up the mask feather and then just increase it something like this so now you can see that we have these really nice glowing cracks so in the same way you can add these cracks over here as well all you have to do is just simply select both of these layers then press ctrl d to duplicate them then you can select your crack and just place it somewhere around here and if you want you can select the ground plane and just move it so that the texture is visible on the crack something like this yeah i think this is looking good so if you want you can change their color as well just simply change the fill effect and right away you can see that now we have this really nice crack over here as well so once you are happy with your look your next step is to add some particles to this so in order to do that you can just simply drag this video file which is this particle 4 and again you will find this in the description below you can download all the assets from there so after that you can just simply change its mode from normal to add and right way you can see that our scene has some particles in it again if you want to change their color you can apply a effect called tint just simply drag it onto the particle layer and you can change the white color to whatever color you want so if you want to have blue particles you can just do that and there you go you can see our particles are now blue but for this one i'm going to stick with these kind of yellow particles you can do one more thing you can apply another effect called curves so just drag it onto this and you can just play around with these to increase the intensity so you can see that this is before and after just to add a little bit of intensity to this just like this so now if i play back here you can see that we have our particles in the scene as well now let's do some color grading to this so i'm going to again create a new adjustment layer and on this one again i'm going to apply the curves effect so let's add a little bit of contrast so just increase the brightness and just add a s curve over here so right away you can see that it has added a little bit of contrast to our scene now you can just simply change the channel to red and just play around with the curve to get a something like this and let me just quickly select the blue one and i'm going to drag this just like this so now you can see that we have added a little bit of color grade to our scene let me just quickly change the red to something like this just don't overdo this so yeah i think this is looking much better so we are pretty much done with the scene so if you want to add the black bars there's a really nice technique that i always use so what i do is just simply create a solid just make sure that it's black color just click on ok and you can apply an effect called cc jaws just drag it onto this after that change the completion to something like 75 and height to 0 so there you go now you have your black bars i know this is not the best way to do this but if you want to quickly add a black bars to your scene you can just simply do that just play around with the completion to have the desired aspect ratio i think 75 looks good so there you go now you have your title and since we made this in a procedural way if you want to change your logo all you have to do is just simply go inside the logo comp and you can drag whatever logo you want so i'm going to drag this batman logo and let me just quickly apply the fill effect to this as well and let me just change this to white now i can scale this down something like this and let me just disable the harry potter logo 
so now if i go back here you can see that everything has been updated and we don't have to do anything so all the effects are already applied and you can see that all the animations are pretty much done might have to change the position of these cracks depending upon your logo so other than that you are pretty much done with this you can also tweak the color of this by simply going to the texture and you can lower down its brightness to make it darker but it's completely up to you now here is another tip if you want to quickly change the colors of these now the best way is obviously to go inside and change the color from the tint but if you want to just have a overlook how this will look in a different color just search for an effect called color balance hls and just simply apply it onto this adjustment layer now you can change the color by simply changing the hue and here you can see that we are able to preview the colors and let me just quickly select this crack and just place it below the logo so there you go now we have our logo and we are able to change the colors according to our need so we can have a green or whatever you want so this is how you can create these cinematic titles in after effects without using any third party plugin so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial are available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the project files and the exclusive templates that are available only to patreons so make sure to check out my patreon page link for that will be in the description also if you don't want to miss any of these tutorials in future then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you will never miss another amazing video like this so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one